Cars on the You're ice. sick. You need to go to a mental hospital. Oh, there's you... cups. Yeah, what the fuck? You can't. Okay, you can eat like tops three. And you then they peanut start allergen weird. looking ass motherfucker. How the fuck can that you only nothing eat to do with three it. The peanut Reese's butter's not peanut even butter peanut butter. Cups. It's like. Peron, start it's a mix the podcast right the fuck it's now. It's been started. Good. <laughs> Did you know that. Gabe is, has a peanut allergy? Imagine I dying from He's nuts. a little bitch. No. Oh, yeah. Stupid My bitch. gums just get itchy. What the fuck? It's, this is this is attack Gabe night, also known as <laughs> Halloween night. We out here fucking vibing. I have stew. ron has got some shit to say, I think. I don't know. Garrett made um, stew and I'm eating it. He made stew, stew for me. Oh, shit. And then I, I ate a little bit, but it was cold. Take it off. So <laughs> Gabe stole it and fucking cooked it, and now it tastes good as fuck, apparently. And I really yeah, want to take a bite. You want it? You want some? Yes, motherfucker. Oh my god. Should we explain what we are? Hot. Yes. We're a boat club! No, <laughs> no I meant the costumes! Um, Wait, before we do that. This is not a costume. What are you talking about? Before we do that, this is real. welcome back to the Boat Club Podcast. I'm your host, Ron. I'm here Shut joined up. by Garrett, yes. Nate, hey. and Gabe. Stu. Anyways, explicit warning as per Funny. usual, there are cussing derogatory terms and things Finally, of that nature. Finally, I can say Nick. No, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I should stop Dude, that. Nah, I okay. should stop. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I need help. You're I need help. Hi, man. This is some bullshit. Yeah, so essentially, this is the night before Halloween. We're all together. I'm dressed up. I was trying to be a businessman, but I've turned into an Amish man. Dude, he's straight up Amish. Look at him, bro. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to plowing the fields. <laughs> You can't <laughs> say that, bro. We're going to have to you have a mask all of on that. You are no, I'm white as that. fuck. Well, <laughs> cultural appropriation? Hey, more like hey, yes, good thing please. I put an explicit warning. We're just going to blow past that. All right, cool. Fuck it. Why I not? thought it was kind of hot. Let's <laughs> go back to playing the fields. Maybe I will. <laughs> Maybe I will. Don't <laughs> fuck stop. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Is that sour god. cream? What is that? That's ranch. ranch. I bought him ranch yesterday. No, you didn't eat it. I did. You have been leaving ranch out. <laughs> Gabe, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Or B. Oh, no, my bad. I'm not I'm literally not in a costume. You're this is a real. mad scientist. This is a real lab coat that I own. You're a mad scientist. Although I haven't had to deal with like chlorine or chemicals. You're a mad scientist. I used to shoot rockets and make the rocket fuel. Shut up. But not like hobby ones, not real ones. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that smart. No, no. Stupid fuck. Damn, know. man. <laughs> I, Damn. I wear this a lot. I just, you know, I can wear it in public now. <laughs> okay. You know what I can't wear in public? This fucking nightmare that I'm currently wearing. He's fucking meow. Cute. I'm a cat boy. I'm not going to lie. Pause. Meow, meow. No, there you go. I'm There's bleeping that out. Ooh, I'm bleeping that out. <laughs> Straight yeah, up. You fucking it's better leave that like shit. <laughs> 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 that makes it so much better. That makes it so much better. Yeah. Arigato. Meow. Give me your feet. Ah! You have a mask on. I just have a mask on. Is it like symbolism for? The oppression that you deal with on a day-to-day basis for being one eighth Native American. I knew you were gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been looking at him. I should have been giving him the look. Yeah, he's yeah, really sorry, bro. I can't hear you. I'm gonna up your game. Hold on. Fuck you. Oh, You're I can definitely hear mask. you now. Yeah, because it's all over my fucking mouth. I just realized. Just lift the mask up above your head. No. You it's Halloween. Face. No, no, first. you can keep it afar. I'm gonna raise your game. It's not Halloween. Just Halloween speak into it. Now. It's Halloween. Oh, you're really loud now. No, hold on. I was pressing it against the mask. Is it fine right here? Go ahead. Ah. Oh, wait till. Welcome to the behind the scenes Dude, go ahead. of the boat. Fuck club. you. This is not behind the scenes. That works. Okay. We're in it. Yeah. We're so, anyways. Fuck you. No, What's the skid so skid so skid so skid so? The did you, you know? <laughs> oh, my did you know was did you know that Gabe has a peanut allergy, Bro, and that was it. He's allergic yeah. to these nuts. That's the real one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been doing gag ones. We've been doing gag ones. We've been doing gag ones. Yeah, whenever I got back, I kind of ruined the whole. It Serious thing. No, no, no. Actually, True at fact. the college one, right, that I did, mm-hmm. I literally did. Did you know that Foz gets no bitches? And <laughs> <laughs> so in a group of 12 people, it was really funny. A little humiliating Bro. for him, but it was fine. It really smells like stew in here. Oh, really? I'm very really shit. fucking wonder That's why. That's crazy. Okay, huh? so... Okay. What a thunk. What are we talking about so, today, from? today, I want to discuss... Damn, he's destroying that shit. I know. So, so, Gabe, so <laughs> Gabe brought up a prospect up to us, right? An idea, an invention. Not an invention, but something cool we can do. 
Which the crossbow? Are you talking about the crossbow right the now? The bus. Let's talk about the What's crossbow. What's the bus? First. We'll talk about. Okay, we can talk about the crossbow in a minute. We'll leave you hanging on no, that. No, no, no. Let's let's do the. Uh, you want to do the bus? Yeah. Because I want to no. make that a whole discussion. Let's do the crossbow okay. first. Let's do the crossbow first. Okay. Let's warm up. Crossbow. Okay, let's we'll warm start warm with that. Crossbow. Anyways, uh, also everyone who's listening, there will be a video of us making this crossbow. Oh my god. Yeah. I have okay. the crossbow. Yeah. I'll see if I can. Oh no. <laughs> that's not it. That's um. That's V two. Um. V three will be in the video. Um, that one is plain steel and it's stupid. You're it's stupid. Because it, it'll want to bend. You're for stupid because you have this glasses. crossbow we're talking about, for those who, of you who are not on YouTube currently, um, it basically looks like a fucking... Really, Two by four with it, metal in it one It looked end. like a fucking idiot made a drawing of a cross and then <laughs> called it a crossbow. No, it does look... It's, it straight up looks it's, like you pulled a bunch of shit out of the garbage and then you were like, yeah. this is a crossbow. It is genuinely, I'm sorry to say, it is trash. It's, it's, like, a, it's, a, it's a prototype. It works. It's it works. It's a prototype. I was learning. Next one will be better. Next one Next is going to look be so sexy. I, I can't explain to you how sexy it's going to look. I'm going to suck its cock. That's what? Right. That's, hey, yo. Know, hey, yo. Cover cock. Yo. Oh, yeah. The, really uh, the thing we wanted to do for Halloween was... To shoot candy out of a crossbow I at, at children. children, but after making that thing, no. I realized that I will probably kill a child. So, <laughs> like, dude, we'll I was I was I was telling the people at the mall and stuff. I was like, you know what? We kind of over over engineered it. So instead of you know shooting a crossbow, we can still shoot it at the mall. The other one's gonna be like twice as better. Yeah. So I instead of wow. shooting, you know, at a kid, I was like, we're probably gonna give him black eye. I was like, no. After I saw that. I was like, fuck giving a kid a black eye. We're going to shoot through him, okay? <laughs> the parents are like, oh my god, my kids. I ain't going to get... Mm-hmm. Bro, Anyways. Ron, you good? I'm free now. I want Hello? to be free. Yo, I think I might have accidentally turned some shit on inside for Rumble wearing this costume. It's just No. Okay. He's horny for ga- cat boys. Yep. Ferran, you want a fin boy, don't you? I was gay. Ferran wants... A- Did you know that Ferran wants a fin boy? Did you know... That I, I, I am not fruit. threatened by that piece of shit plastic toy gun. I'm sorry. <laughs> they didn't see it on camera. Um, I'm out of frame. Okay. So, the, the crossbow, um, I will make better. I have a small version that doesn't What work. is the bus? Oh, yeah. This is the small one that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, is the top turning? Yes. Okay. It's, it's I thought I was just on. tripping this whole fucking time. <laughs> I was like, why does this keep moving? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I would just I pick it up and it would just slightly rotate a little bit and I just go. I don't have. That any, was how that was before. I don't have any video of the the second small one. The uh, one. yeah, no, we don't have any video of the big one. But <clears throat> uh, makes. Oh, a- Nate, for B three, I literally have to make it tomorrow, and it's okay. gonna have to be a whole day thing. I don't get off till three. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Remember, I'll be I able to. Garrett, what? What are you doing tomorrow? Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Literally exactly. nothing. Yeah. Okay. Homie has no job. He is not doing he shit. He does not have anything in his life going on. <laughs> yeah. Besides Mason. Except. Bro. Why? Okay. okay. Anyways, I need someone to record and then, you know, to, to, to hang out with. So, you want me to be my, or your camera boy? Yes. Are you okay what with that? What camera are we using? I, uh, his. Wait, where probably. are we going even? I need to get Home Depot. Why are we talking about this on the fucking podcast? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, we okay, we're just having a normal ass conversation. That's what right podcast that is. Are. That is what. Literally that what is literally is. the point of this podcast. Is so bo- the bros can hang out, chill, and just talk and have a good laugh. That's literally what I tell people. <laughs> are you stupid? I oh, I oh, fuck. um, okay, Nate. Yes. Garrett. What? Gabe. Sorry, not Garrett. I was. You had all of us. Sorry. Yeah, up. my bad. Okay. Everyone in the club looking for a conferron. Like, okay, you know they. I don't think they know. Okay, so I was talking with this dude at uh. The Call of Duty Midnight Release. Mm. Yeah. He runs a mobile gaming truck. Okay. So you oh, get, I heard about that. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You Is that keep the bus? saying mobile gaming truck. And the first thing I thought of was like mobile games. No, 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 no. Phone. So it's so it is a trailer. It's, it's a trailer with with like Xbox PS5s, PS5s and Xbox Series, and switches outside to play Smash, mainly Smash. It's really cool. Good. Um, and what ends up happening? So Lost and Terra hired them. Wait, or, is this the bus thing? Uh-huh. Oh. La Sintera hired him. I knew to this. Do, yeah, that's why I said them, I not Garrett. So La Sintera hired him to do an event for them, right, on the 18th of November. And I was like, hey, let's do a podcast. He's like, I don't want to do it at a birthday party or something like that. I want all my trucks to be there and visible. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm doing this event. Would you like to host this event with me? I was like, yes. And La Sintera? He's like, yeah. 
in the dead center of it, there's going to be a lot of people, two gaming trailers come mm. through. And I was like, can I bring the boys? He's like, bring your boys. I'll let y'all play for free and stuff outside too. Damn. I was like, awesome. And he has like a full racing setup and everything. Hey, shout out. Shout out to him. His card is literally, I'm going to give him a shout out. Oh, He's that so, it is? Yeah. So it's uh, Optimum Mobile Gaming. Check not it out. sponsored. We are not sponsored. But, I'm just shouting them out. And this is, oh, fuck. Stupid. <laughs> fuck that shit. Anyways. Oh. We'll just add it later. Um, yeah, his Getting phone number is 713 You can put the link in the description uh, on the thing. Oh, you're right. You're Stupid. right. I did forget. Um, yeah, anyway. just go to YouTube for like a website link. Yeah. Um, check him out. It'll be on the Spotify and everything too. I'm going to link up. him in this. All right. But, I yeah. assume you guys want to talk about the bus now. <laughs> okay, bus time. <laughs> so. Everybody so, girl. Okay. Bus. That's on. Okay. So, I, after a lot of contemplating, so I did lose my job, and I was thinking of what I really wanted to do, and I think I've, I've been watching all these videos of all these people, and they renovate stuff like buses, and they oh, build you're shit. doing a van life shit. I wanted, I want to try it so bad. Yes! Oh, with and the so boat club. I want to do it with... People though, I don't want to do it by myself. That's that's why you have the boat club. Wait. Where would you get so, the funding for it a, though? Here's the thing. We're saving up money for it in the next year or so. We're gonna spend the I'm next in. two or three years get, grinding, get as much money as possible, and then as we're doing that, also I want to renovate. It, it might be a bus, it might be a van. I'm not really sure yet, but okay, could have a mini bus. Something like that. So, I s- okay. Hold on, hold Let's on, hold on. I'm not keep done. going, keep going, keep going. I'll tell you. Can as my brother well help as, us? We're going to need, like, a source of a little bit of income anyways. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, we need to buy food, gas, so, and whatever else. So, what I want to do, I've, I've had a passion of making metal parts for a while. And as of recently, I have a family friend. His name's Jim. Mm. And... Uh, Why does his everyone in your family have the most basic name? Because it's I'm fucking right. gay. I, I, <laughs> his last name is the it's most generic people, shit ever. I if anyway. I were to think of you as an ice cream, it would be vanilla. Fucking, you're thinking Paul. It wouldn't even be vanilla. It'd be fucking water flavored ice cream. It's just the most it's boring so shit. It's only 14 grand. 15 grand. <laughs> there is nothing creative going on with the naming system. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyways. Am I wrong? It's a hot go okay. I'm looking at buses right so, now, actually. Jim. He. Jim. Is wealthy because <laughs> he's a lawyer. Yeah. But he has a friend. I can't remember his name. It's something like Ben or something. But he was also an art enthusiast. Yes. And he collected like a bunch of art and then he died. Oh. And so we have like Easter at his house and we talk about him and then look at his art and also just catch up with Jim. Yeah. Um, there's a piece of specific art. It's by this like Mexican artist. It's a little statue made out of wood. And it's a, it's a chair, but there's only one leg in the middle, and it's literally a foot. And then the seat is a hand in, like, this, this chair. Do you want the statue? He's, I, I talked to him. Uh, I'm going to contact him on November 3rd, and if the potential buyer didn't want to buy it, it's mine. Really? So For free? Uh, How much I, you get him? I, like a huge discount. 20, take family. it or leave it. I don't I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll pay the whole thing. The statue's like three hundred to five hundred dollars, and it's a little, it's a little thing too. <laughs> but it's it's really cool, and I wanted to do like a lidar scan and then three D print and mold it. And ah. I, I've already molded like a key once, so yeah. I kind of like already know how to do it. I still need to like get some kinks out and figure out how to like polish. What would you, you look at me for? So, what would you look at me for when he said kinks? What what was that? Bro. What was that? <laughs> what would you want to? I wonder. But so, anyways, I I want to like, I want to make a metal version that's a little bigger and then you know have it. But then I thought, wouldn't other people want that too? And so at some point, I kind of want to like make a fan base and then. Have some sort of like vote on what literally they this podcast sell for the month. and our Instagram. And then, you want to use it, man? I don't, I don't know. Use it's, it. It's, it's a our, whole fan base. Like it's it's growing. It's a, it's a, it's There's a slight thirty-two dream followers that I've made so far. That's YouTube. I thought it was okay. Whatever. Anyways. And it says like forty-eight, forty-nine. I don't know, something like that. Um, making. Oh wait, I don't have my damn face Making stuff showing. like that and then selling it online. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> So what would be open? like a potential source <laughs> be like of you ugly if, that, if that ever happens. But okay. then again, we're gonna we're, all of us collect, collectively 
have to grind and save. So my my goal next was two years probably. So two, I I said two to three years because I want to open a second jewelry store, run it for one to two years, then leave it to my managers, my brother once he's out of college, so they can run it and I'll get my residual income from that, and I'll have my arcade in the next no. uh, six months, and that's gonna give me residual income every so month too. My advice for buying vehicle whatever it is i'm assuming it's going to be a bus because there's going to be more than one of us in it right yeah, yeah. Like, we could use it on a road spend, trip spend more money than you think you need to so that way it is a quality vehicle yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. once it's built it's fucking built there is mm. no okay let's quickly buy a new fucking bus because the one we bought was a pile of shit yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. just spend the money on it yeah yeah, yeah. It's like, who's yeah. getting the bus license that's my question i'll do it I don't know. Fucking yeah. It's he just funny. said it. He just said it. He'll get it. You should yeah. go to the DMV, take a test, and bada yeah. bada It's yeah. not that hard. I need to, I need if, to be able to drive buses anyway so I can make more money out of At a high school, could like, get a bus license. I think, we get, I think we're good. Plus, I'm kinda, I kind of want to be point. a fucking bus driver. I feel like it'd be a fun job. I don't think I no. should let you near like kids. A school bus it driver? It sounds mundane. My grandma was yeah, a bus driver. That is the best kind of fucking job. because you. Bro, he just likes driving around. Why would he not want to do that? I love driving around. I love how I feel with you near children. get off my bus. Respect to every bus driver. Driver. Hey, like, fucking honestly, it's a, they are there. Oh, yeah. Except, huh? Except the ones that make you have assigned seats. Huh? Except the ones that make you have assigned seats. That sounds personal. That <laughs> personal. Bro. It is very it's personal. I hate high them. school, high school, I agree. Elementary, middle school, I think it's fine because it helps keep tra track of yeah. these high fucking idiotic kids. I wasn't even in a bus. For I was. High school for I, I was. I the would first walk, semester ride my bike, first year. or like a. Uh, uh, he turned into my bus. Yeah, I was. <laughs> so my first year was. That's how we became such good friends. I rode on the bus. Yeah, <laughs> half the year I rode on the bus, and then half the year I rode Dude, with my sister. Dude, I remember school. the news um, spreading around that you got a truck. Yeah, and I was like Nate, the, the Lego guy guy. <laughs> I I just remembered having that thought. Do you do you remember Lego Man? Yes, oh, I fucking, he talks about it all the time. Fucking, what? have you talked about Lego Man on the podcast? No, yet? we've never. I I've, I've never Dude, heard of this actually. You know. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is a whole Andy, character I'm arc, bro. Sit down and this is Dude, a whole it's a literal character arc. <laughs> I have like vivid memories of this. He got so popular too. <laughs> Who? He got Nate. <laughs> Over what? Lego? Was, yeah, Dude, I was fucking Dude, Okay, all right, all right, all right. Me, okay, so in middle school, I think it was my second year, I decided no, that... Didn't go to the same middle school. That's no, fine. we didn't. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I decided uh, that I wanted to fucking make a YouTube channel because I loved Legos and I had a little Lego city. I wanted to show it off online, right? You know, every toy girl's fucking dream. Um, so I set the account, called Lego Man, upload a video or two, upload and you know, whatever. And then I uploaded my third, like, stop motion video of Lego, which was really shitty because I didn't know how to hold a fucking phone steady. Um, but I told my buddy Eric about it that's not his real name by the way it's just fucking made as usual um i told him about this fucking youtube channel youtube channel and he oh, wait, hold on. i uh, absolutely destroyed your stew by the way that's, yeah that's that that's was gone. what it's for sorry i just remembered that. i it's, wanted to say that you didn't eat so, all of it you fucking up a lot i ate all of it so continuing um i told him about it and eric was a relatively popular guy right you know like i think 20 or 30 people on a person level so he told all his buddies about it and then they told the whole fucking school. Literally. I remember and then sitting it... on the bus. And then <laughs> everyone was freaking out, raving. And I was like, what's happening? I was like, have you seen this this account called the Lego Man? It's Nate. <laughs> and I was like, what? And we pulled up one of your videos. It was like responding to comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, okay. That was, okay, we hold, were like hold, hold on, hold on. laughing. Like, we were laughing... At and with you? <laughs> we were yeah, like, was look at me, look at those numbers. Uh, it so, was crazy. So did you get like really popular? How many subscribers? So I'm, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. So it spreads around the whole fucking school. Everybody knows about it. The numbers shoot up that first day, I think, from like I had two subs, maybe, like my mom and my dad or some shit, all the way up to like, I think 50 or 60. And at oh the time, God. that was Dude, that's more than huge. us right now. <laughs> yeah. That Jesus. was like... It's a whole, like, it's a whole middle school. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I, you know, I'm just like, okay, uh, I guess I got to upload something. So I did like a <laughs> shitty little video of my whole Lego city. I overlaid it with some really crappy, not copyright free music. Um, that was like some punk emo shit. I don't even know what it was. It was it uh, was back then in YouTube if you didn't have like No, no, it was it was a real song. It was a song I knew. No, 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 but like for copyright music mm -hmm. for YouTube, 
if you only had like a couple hundred, they what wouldn't. What you doing? Care. So, um, oh. I fucking <laughs> upload this video just to you know do something, have a little snippet of my voice somewhere in there, like saying thank you for the fucking fifty subs. Um, so that. Spreads around the next day. How I'm old are you at the time? 12, 13. 12. I was Bro, young this man shit. is more successful than me on you, us on YouTube um, collectively as a 12 year old. So <laughs> let that sink in. The let, second let that video. sink in, please. Open the door, let him in. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me open the door. There is a sink out there. Oh I'd lose God. my shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so th- it spread. This new video spreads around like the last one. And I immediately after that shot up to, I think it was like 115 subs day two. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so there I was with 115 subs, and everybody already kind of knew who the fuck was the owner of this YouTube channel. Um, the Lego Man. Yeah. So I decided, all right, fuck it. I kind of want to do like vlog shit too, as well as just Lego videos. So I'm Dude, gonna go we now it, have right? eight. Oh, God damn. Stop <laughs> pulling the cord. That is three times. Let me get closer. We need some fucking God tape. Damn. No, no, no. I just need to be close. No, we have now a $1,500 with a carotid he mic. He's doing it on his iPhone. Vlog mic. Oh, by the way, I do want to do vlogs with the boat club. Fuck yeah. We're going to start traveling right, a lot more. Yep. Okay. I'm for it. Or like coming together at least once a week and doing something beforehand. All right, let him continue. Vlogging. So, yeah. moving on. Um, where was I? Remind me. Sorry. Uh, 1,500 subscribers. Not 1,500. 150. Okay, so I had 150 subs all of a sudden. Um, and pretty much everybody there was jealous. I'm going to say this right now. From my point of view, it looked like everyone was fucking jealous that I had 115 subs. and a, like, Dude, successful. I'm jealous of you at 12 for having 150 <laughs> subs now. Successful uh, YouTube channel at the age of fucking 12 because that's like every goddamn 12-year-old's dream, right? Uh, to have a fucking successful thing. So everybody flocked to the channel and just started absolutely tearing me to shit in the comments yeah, they like were... dragging me through the fucking yeah, horse shit it was, in the middle it of the was street insane, the amount of like it was fuck shitting on you it was and then it like it turned into fucking people saying tell me kill myself all that fucking shit and so i i was like all right well what do what do big youtube to youtubers do and mind you this is like heat 2012 oh, no. um yeah heat peak 2012. So all the fucking big craze was anytime you get hate comments, you fucking make a whole video replying to the hate comments. It's really funny because you have like really snarky, amazing replies and yeah, shit because yeah. you're smart. That's literally um, what I watched on the bus. So Bro. I fucking <laughs> uploaded a Lego Man replies to comments YouTube video you had like a where, too. yeah, I literally was sitting in my fucking desk chair next mm-hmm. to my desk with a fish tank buzzing in the background going. <laughs> through the whole yeah. fucking video. <laughs> I didn't even um, know that. That that fish is a whole other story we gotta tell okay, at some okay, point. Yeah. Um, so I fucking respond to these comments in the most mundane, boring, dumbass way ever. Yeah. Uh, so I, it's I, just I like on the bus, I was like, man, he should respond like this, this, and this. Why this is, is he saying yeah, just that? I was a fucking. That's so funny. Fucking idiot. Stupid. Um. So I, I fucking eventually after like. A week or two of just non-stop flooding of hate comments. I think I like, got like a thousand fucking comments Bro. on that video or some shit. Dude, yeah. Um, you had you had like a thousand subscribers. The whole subscribers. fucking school. Yeah, literally everyone. And some of the people in high school. Because I remember I was riding around Triangle Lake and fucking a guy walked up to me. He was like, you're fucking Lego man. He was like... A middle-aged dude. <laughs> 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 the, 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 you get more subs, man. it gets uh, more like... Bye. It gets more recommended to random people. I fucking people. guess. Yeah. You, um, got, <laughs> no, you know what's funny? All our episodes... You got recognized by a 40-year-old man. Oh, all our episodes, funny enough, on the boat club, it has been like... We have like 15 recurring. Mm. Then all the other 50, 80, 60 are like different people. <laughs> like new. Yeah. Uh, so... Finally, after like a week of just getting dragged through the fucking cow shit in Valentine, um, I the vice principal at the reference? school. Do what? Is that a Red Dead reference? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, the vice principal at the fucking school calls me into his office. Is like, hey, I heard you have a YouTube channel, don't you? Yeah. I'm not mad or anything. It, like, I hear that you're getting picked on in the comments. Well, yeah, but, you know, I, I figure it'll go away in, like, a week or two. Why'd you sound like a grown-ass man at 12? Because yeah. I can't do a high-pitched voice because it'll just sound gay as shit for on. Just do it. Just do it. Please, dog. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's the fucking voice. Fuck no, you. do it. It's funnier. No, 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 no. So, no. I fucking... Um, Lord, no. I figure, please. That's it's happening. so annoying. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an oh, idiot. Shut the fuck up. Fraud, I, I hate you. God I, damn it. I fucking... I need a second to get my composure so I can goddamn tell the story. Fuck y'all. Um, so I was, I responded to him like, 
God damn it. That was just funny as shit. Fuck you guys. Um, just do the deep one. Just do the deep one. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> it's hard to do the deep one now, too. Just so, talk. So uh, I figure it'll, you know, yeah, it's a lot of hate and shit, but I figure it'll get past in like a week or two. So he's like, okay, well, I don't really want it to take a week or two for hate to stop. I want you to be able to upload your videos and not have people fuck with you in the comments. So I think Dude, that's a good principle I right there. I think he literally tracked down the individual owners of the individual accounts on that fucking that is a good principle. chat wow. page and brought like half of them into his fucking office and told them to fuck off. Wow. And immediately after that, I went from a thousand comments, a thousand like 15 comments to I think 19 of the few people who were like, actually, hey, you fucking assholes, leave this idiotic kid alone. Like, we all know he's a dumbass, but fuck. <laughs> I mean, why are they hating on Legos, though? Because, I don't know. Because no, they're just hating on him. That, and also, this was peak whenever, this is the age where everybody drops toys and thinks they're lame as shit, right? So if They're not. If I got a Lego exactly, toy... Exactly. I know. Exactly. I still get that's Lego. That's why Dude, people hate it Can we buy so a much? Millennium Falcon and do, yes. like, a um, speed no, no, build no, no. together? I think they just were like... So, let me... Uh, hold on. Okay. So... I think it was literally because they were all jealous of shit that I was still so openly playing with little toys. No. And they weren't because they were trying to get girls and shit. No Because they way. weren't gay. No That is a way. thing. I'm telling you. Was there ever a point I in your think, life, okay, Gabe, maybe? where you pretended to not like toys, but you really no. fucking did? No. Then you must be fucking gay. Because, like... <laughs> <laughs> no. no so I was never like that, but I was never popular either. So I, I guess correlation. I'm still, there. I still don't think that was popularity. I, I think that was just everybody fucking boil, bullied my ass. From my perspective, I was like, "Wow, this guy's like out of uh, he he took the time to upload all this shit <laughs> and like and then I was like, "Oh my god, it could be so much better." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Why is he posing all this crap?" <laughs> I wish. I wish I would have fucking known you properly back then. Because I think we met the year prior in football, yeah. kind of. But I was such a fucking pussy that I literally didn't interact with anyone on the whole team. And wow. never learned how to even play football after a full fucking season of it. I, um, I don't I know how to play football. I actually have a funny story. A little, little tiny. Can you put this on the floor? Not fucking. <laughs> Just fucking. Okay, okay, you're picking that up, you fucking <laughs> son of a bitch. I, I was going to ask you, hey, could you put it down on the floor over there? And you went, huh? Huh? Okay. Get off your phone. Uh, no! There was a I'm moment. I'm trying to find the Lego Man YouTube channel right now. Uh, you, can you still me. find the Lego Man or did you delete it? Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's so it's there? all unlisted now. So I unlisted mm. all the videos on there besides, oh. like, my new fucking, uh, there. like, VODs and shit. Okay. So Man, still, he got so bullied, account. he's like, fuck all this shit, I'm getting rid of it. Anyways. <laughs> so, Football. I, I totally understand how you could go a full season not understanding football. I have two gay coaches dads. coaches were shit. So they don't know football either, and they were just like, play football. And so <laughs> I was in middle school, mm -hmm. and, like, this was, like, the last year of middle school. Were you on C team? Yeah, B yeah, team? I was like, I was C team, and I was, or maybe I was also B team. Senior year, I was B team. Anyways. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, eighth not grade senior. year. Eighth, eighth grade year, right? Eighth grade. If you were, I'd probably hit you. Well, anyway. Wait a minute, did you ever get tackled like hell? I was a, I was a wide receiver. Did you name a wide receivers? Yeah, I was also a tight end and Anyways. wide receiver, so I probably did name a you. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I, I was... Eighth grade. This is. I was playing it for like three years. Yeah. And I, I, I never really paid attention, and I would just do what people told me to do. Yeah. But then I was like paying attention that year, and I was a wide receiver, and I was at the sideline next to the coach, and they're like super far away, and they're trying to make a touchdown, right? And you have like first downs every. Uh, Thirty yards. Ten. Ten yards. Ten yards. Is it? Come yes, on, yes. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. No matter. Um. I didn't. I didn't know that. And so I was like, "Coach, we're so far away. We gotta play. We gotta. We gotta throw. We gotta do a wide receiver play." And I like. I kept doing that. And he, at some point, he was like ignoring me because he was like, Focused just on the going game. down uh, every ten yards and then making the touchdown. And eventually, like after fifteen minutes of just going down slowly, got going doing run plays. Yeah. I like it clicked, and I was like. Oh, oh, I'm an annoying little shit. Like, I literally <laughs> thought that. I was like, man, I'm annoying. And I sat down and I, I, I didn't say shit for the rest of the game. I, I don't even think I played for the rest of the game because he was just so annoyed at me. <laughs> all right, all right, so let me just say, 
I don't I know which it. I don't know which coach it was on that fucking team, but I it was like remember. the big fat fuck who had They're the, all fat. <laughs> okay, the really fat motherfucker um, who eventually transferred to our high school and became a coach there. Oh, that guy. Wait, who, yeah. Wait, wait. What did you did y'all go to? Make me. Make me. I'm. Oh, that was the only game I won senior year. We hit. I hit someone. I don't remember who, but he was a tight end. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was your other homie. So um, this motherfucker. The reason I hate this coach is because I, you know, I was not good at football. Right. I. Me neither. I didn't know how to do it. I had literally only ever seen the fucking Super no Bowl, and took, I only watched the ads. Right. No one yep. took the time. To like actually explain mm-hmm. a- to little kid me how the game actually works. Yeah. I just saw a lot of people hitting each other, Dude, trying to get a ball to those. The, the junior high coaches uh, for most of the schools, it was get the fucking. Sorry, <laughs> I was, regret giving you that. So for the most part, it was just like they'll figure it out. No one really figures it out. Years go by, and only the really athletic kids that are like playing main and stuff actually no, learn the was, game. So there was kids okay, in middle okay, school who on, knew on, how to play Moving on, game. moving on, back, back, back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what your son, you mean? Shut the fuck up. Uh, so, <laughs> fuck you. Um, where was I? So this this coach, right, I was not very good at football. No one ever taught me how to fucking play, right, which isn't that big a deal. It's middle school. Like you said, the whole point is to kind of weed out the fucking idiots who are just there for the fun, right? I mean, um, yeah, but we liked so, it. So, we, I liked it. I so, what happened was midway through the season, or midway through like the first fucking week or some shit, he comes up to me and is like, son, son, I know you've been out here struggling, and it's okay if you just want to go home and quit. <laughs> See, I think you should go home and quit. Bro! Okay? Fuck that guy! Yeah! <laughs> I fucking despise that motherfucker! I was a dyslexic idiot, no one told me to quit. He literally Dude. walked up to my ass and was like, son... You should fuck off my team. Like, what Bro. the hell? Wow. And, and then like, my parents wouldn't let me quit, so I fucking got to play with him for the rest of the goddamn season. Fuck that guy. Wow, dude. That was messed up. That is messed up. To a junior high kid? Yeah. A fucking freshman junior high kid. Not yeah. even like a middle, like, proper. So wow. all, so you really got told, fuck off, go away, yes. you suck ass. Wow. So whenever like, I got to high yikes, school, I became a fucking wrestler, yo. and look where I am now. A fucking gay-ass cat boy. <laughs> How times have gone? I've been in that mat room. I've been in that mat room. It's fun in there, kind of. It's sweaty. The what room? The mat, room. mat room. Oh, Dude, so yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I know, I know. why a coach would do that, because, like, in middle school, I had like anger issues, duh, because I was bullied because I had two gay dads. I <laughs> like I'm bullied <laughs> why? literally all the time, and so I, I I I did track. I was good at track, and I I, I was like one day I was running around the field. Uh, there was a a taller guy, and of course he's making fun of me, and I'm like dude dude, and I try to fight him, and of course, <laughs> of course he's like literally like feet taller than me <laughs> and so he's like kick and then i get all upset about it <laughs> the coach takes me to the to, to the to the office and i was like he's making fun of me and, I, and it was like okay take a lap and chill out so i took a lap and they didn't tell me to quit or anything yeah. so i'm surprised that they were just like it's speak you know why you're he, not good enough you know why he did that because he's a cunt gabe you're gonna have to bleep that probably no no i'm fucking won't. I can't believe I despise that. that man. And then Sorry. he fucking he was nearly my goddamn teacher and I literally went straight to the council and I was like, "Listen, I don't want this guy. I don't fucking want to be in this guy's class. I am not going to fucking try in this man's class." Wow. Move me the fuck out of here. Wow. Ooh, hold on. I for some reason just had an idea. What's your okay. idea? Um you guys want to talk about Halloween to- topics and stories? Probably yeah, a good have? idea. I have one, just Get a it. small little one. Do you guys, uh, do you guys know the show? Fuck, what is it called? Soul Eater. Uh, no, the the. Pocono uh, Pico. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare Before Christmas. What? No, fucking. Um, nightmare the, on Elm the, Street. N- shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> I the guy that remember. says. The guy that says. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? Fuck. Just say. Just, what does he say? I don't know. <laughs> He has a bunch nightmare, of nightmare, nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. That anyway. guy's. Ah, uh, whatever. Beetlejuice. A show. Shut the fuck. Ah! Anyways, <laughs> there there's a show that was like crazy on Adult Swim. I don't remember what it's called. Mr. Pickles. But it was really good. Shut up. No, it was live action. Anyways, oh. who cares? Um, there was a there was a there was a scene in the show where he like Mad poured Brad? milk all over himself. And no. anyways, that's the context. Um. I was giving out candy in high school, and there was this lengthy guy in high school who 
also did drugs with Spencer. Uh, <laughs> Who was that guy? Do you remember that guy? Fuck it. I don't Homie, remember. I did not know your friend group. Me and you were I not wasn't fr- my friend group. Me he and you were my... not fucking friends in high school. I just knew the so guy. I just knew the, well, I just, we were until uh, junior. I just knew yeah. the guy. It was anyways, fucked. Anyways, I knew, I knew the guy because he was in my English class. And he like was just trick-or-treating around the neighborhood and I was passing out candy at my house. Yeah. And so he comes up to my house and he's like, mm, you want some cereal? And he pours a whole gallon of milk <gasps> from the green Walmart all over himself in front of like, in front of my door. You know where what my house is? Fuck? On the patio. Pours like milk all over himself. He has like cereal, like Fruit Loops. And he pours the Fruit Loops all over himself. And he's like, "Oh yeah, you want some cereal?" Because he's doing the bit. Bro. And I didn't know the bit at the time. Like, the Eric Andre show. I just remember the Eric Andre show. It was the Eric Andre show, and he was it, it was it was the bit where he he was wearing a bowl and he had cereal and he poured milk into his cereal and he's like, "You guys want a scoop?" Anyways, he did that on my front porch, and I, I'm just standing there like. What the fuck? Ah, uh, you still want some candy? <laughs> like, I didn't know what to do. I I had no clue what he to probably, do. He probably he probably and I had like specifically okay, because context. he knew you were young. My dad was passing out candy. He was bored of it and he wanted to like he he wanted to watch his the TV second show, the right? parents leave Dude, chickens he's off. Like, the- okay. You no. you pass out the candy, and so I'm passing out the candy for like 20 minutes, and then I open the door. The milk shit happens, <laughs> and I have to walk into the living room and go, um, so there's milk all over the patio, and he's like, what the fuck? I left you for 20 minutes, and so I literally have to go outside, take my hose, and I'm just like spraying down, trying to get the milk like to the grass. And I, I don't even know what to, like, there's trick-or-treaters, like, coming up to the door, and there's, like, milk everywhere, and I'm with a hose, I'm like, sorry guys, one second, I, the milk, I don't, there's a bunch of cereal and milk everywhere. Oh, bro. Bro. Should we do that to some no. poor kid? <laughs> All three of us, all but, four of us. Hey, you want some material? <laughs> if you guys don't know what the Eric Andre show, I highly I fucking do. It. it is so good. It is so good. Fuck. Anyways, yeah. That no. was, that's my, I just remembered it. So, do you guys have any similar stories? I have I have a scary story. I, sh- I, I probably have a similar story. Ooh, Not really similar. I don't have a similar, I have a scary story. So, Around like early 2000s, right? I I was born in Pakistan. Y'all know this. I stayed there, lived there, whatever, right? Yeah, Audience that don't know, hold on. No. Um. So essentially, when I was younger, now we get here and get touched. My us. my dad, <gasps> my dad gave a scream mask oh, I know to my doing. aunt, right? And she and there was like lockers on the first floor of the house, and my aunt hid it in there. We couldn't get in there because we didn't know the combo. So my aunt, before she got married. So she kept that scream mask in there. Now, every time I, w- I swear to God, I have ADHD. I got something going on, right? I could not sleep for the life of me. So my aunt noticed this. She's like, great. Told my dad about it. My dad was like, okay. Right. Gave her a scream mask. And he told her instructions of what to do. And you know what those instructions were? If you think he's not asleep, go past. So in the Middle East, right, the rooms, the doors are open. So you can see the night sky, all that, right? There's yeah. no AC shit running. So the doors are open. I'm laying there on the bed. I can see the sky and I can't sleep. I look out a person in a full black burqa and a scream mask just slowly walks by, stands there, looks at me. Mind you, I'm like four or five years old. I shit my pants. And this happens every single night for as long as I'm there, like 30 days, right? Yeah. My aunt was dedicated. Okay. Now check this out. Yeah. I go, I come to America, learn, you know, all this shit. My parents are like, hey, we're going to go back to Pakistan. We're going to go visit. Okay, I go visit. I'm now, uh, I think I did, at this point, I was like. 12. No, no, no. I was, Which? so Nine. it happened five, then I was seven or eight. So I went there for three months. Uh, two months I spent somewhere else. One month at my grandparents' house. My aunt was still there. Did the same shit every night I was there. Fucking Dedicated. Shit. Dedicated. Dude. Dedicated to the bit. No, listen. Dedicated. I go again four years later when I'm 12. Okay. The same shit happens. Pissing me off. And <laughs> I finally took it so off. So when I was like 12 or 13, right, when I went, I my aunt did the same shit for like five, ten nights. And my 
12 year old ass was like you know what i'm gonna fight this and i started fighting my aunt in the middle of the night Bro. at three in the morning year old boy, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> i was so pissed i was like You're i've been seeing you my whole fucking life i'm gonna kill you son of a bitch let me sleep Actual horrible <laughs> you, you went okay that's it too. I'm <laughs> yeah my aunt no the thing is my other aunts my mom my brother my sister was like four or five at the time <laughs> And like and it's just you beating the shit out of your aunt <laughs> <laughs> on like the night walk, and dude, it was so funny. My I was like, no, 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 it's me. I was like, because I picked up a metal pipe or something. They were making a fourth floor. I picked up a metal pipe, ready to bro, beat, bro. <laughs> ready to beat the <laughs> shit, out of, shit out of this old oh bitch. My God. <laughs> Holy fuck. She was so not married at that point. She was like twenty something. <laughs> I was like, I'm done with this. She's like, no. Then the next day, I was like, you're going to explain this to me, but I'm going to go to sleep. I went to sleep. Next day, I woke up. I was like, hey, check this out. And the thing is, I woke up, right? I was laying down on my stomach, you know, twist, twirling my legs like this, staring at my aunt at 7 in the morning. And I was like, and when she opened her eyes, I was like, you up yet? It scared the <laughs> shit out of her. I, <laughs> I was like, how does that feel? <laughs> She's like, that's so mean. I'm like, mm-hmm. Uh, and you did this since I was five? <laughs> yeah. And I, wow. my aunt, my aunt, I was like, so tell me, what's the story? Because I, my brother didn't know, and I told my brother. I was like, hey, did you know that our aunt was the... He's like, no way. It was like 11. <laughs> like a year younger. He's like, no way. I was like, yeah, man. It's, it's been her the whole time. He's like, how the fuck? How? It's so scary. I was like, I don't know. But I'm going to figure it out today. She's going to tell me. He's like, can I join? I was like, yes. And we sat down. Now, it turns out, while I was not in the Middle East, my aunt was doing it to the rest of my cousins living in the house, which is three families worth. So there's like 10 kids traumatized. <laughs> Anyways, I did not tell them until... I still haven't told them. <laughs> that's, that's, that's some shit but my I would aunt do. got married, so they just think the Man, ghost disappeared uncles, three years ago, that. four years ago, right? So huh? where is Candy? If we become uncles, or, crunch? somehow. <coughs> Anything. If we become uncles, we're. Doing I am an like uncle. That. Yeah. No. Yes. He's still three, but we're doing that. He's to almost him. four. Okay, when he turns five, we'll do that to okay, him. Okay. Okay, but let me let me finish my little story. So essentially, we'll my aunt sat me down and my brother, and we were like, "So, explain." And she's like, okay, so you weren't going to sleep. You, you know, were always wanting to play, do something, right, with your brother and the other cousins. I was like, yeah. So I asked your dad for what I should do. He didn't tell me anything. He just gave me a mask and told me uh, every night, if you think he's not asleep, walk past the door, look at him for three to four minutes, then walk away and go to sleep. And she's like, it worked every time. Your dad was right. I was like, and then I brought it up to my dad when I came back from the Middle East. I was like, hey. The fuck? So he's like, oh, yeah, I do remember that. I was like, you remember that? This was my childhood. It's nightmare fuel, bro. Like, imagine it's a pitch black. Could it's a imagine? full black outfit. You're, you're it's just, moonlight and a scream mask. Could you imagine you're you're with your sister or something and you have a child and you're like, I don't know, fucking scare him. And then she proceeds to do that for five years. Not five years since I was five to 12. So that's like, what, eight years? No. Yeah. No. Seven? Oh, my God. Do some math. It is Five, seven. Five, six, seven. Yeah, seven years. Yes. So, pretty long time. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Anyways, my aunt's still doing it to my cousins every time she visits her grandparent, uh, her parents. Wow. Um, Dang, I feel bad for them, bit. but not really. They deserve it. They're kind of annoying, so. <laughs> hey. But Anybody else children. got a story? That was crazy. I have more of a funny one. Okay. Get it. But one time, we were at Skull's house for Halloween. We were, like, p passing out candy, you know, as we usually do. Was this last year? No, it was, like, a few years ago. This was not last year. What, was last it the year. when we chased your brother's friend? That's group? what I'm getting to. You just spoiled all of it. No, no. Okay, now it's on. not no, go funny. On. No, I have no idea what he's talking about. Ah. Uh, go. So, basically, we're just passing out candy. He was just at the door playing, like, a trumpet or a piccolo. I don't fucking remember. Oh, Trumpet, yeah. Yeah, just trying to, I don't know, trying to play some spooky shit. And I, was, I had my morph suit on. It was like the first year I got this mask. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So You love that morph suit. I do I have love pictures that from suit. that night. Anyways, go ahead. So, like, it was also really cold. I had, like, a hoodie on underneath the morph suit. But anyways, um, so I was just trying to scare kids walking up. And apparently, my brother and his whole friend group walked up. So like, oh, this is going to be great. Mm -hmm. So they, like... They, like, kind of walked up. I tried to scare my brother, like, yeah, ha, ha, I, I saw you. He wasn't phased at it by all. And I noticed there was, like, one kid in the back, like, she's scared. Let me do something about it. <laughs> so I looked at her. I started to walk towards her. And she's like, oh, fuck this. She started running. And I started 
sprinting after her, like <laughs> yelling at her. Sprint after a woman. Ah! <laughs> she was I terrified. It was Halloween. I took my damn chance. I chased her like two blocks. I probably chased her down to your house. Wow. I'm amazed you didn't get arrested. Holy wow. fuck. Wow. Dude, it That's was awesome. It was horrible. It was fucking Because funny. it took him like 10 minutes to get back, and he was Yo. like, guys, listen to her. <laughs> listen to this. I think she pissed her pants. And I was like, bro. It was so fucking funny. It was funny because all it you see, funny. dude, I turned around. To get more candy because there's like jello like brains and shit that we're giving to kill oh, children too. Cool. We I turn around, I look around, and all I hear is ah! and <laughs> I just see this man hauling ass down the road. <laughs> and when I say hauling ass, like he's in track, right? He's hauling ass. Oh yeah, that was when I was in track yeah. too. And he was catching up to this girl, he would slow down, give her like like Same a little way. solace, like oh maybe I'll escape. Then he started hauling ass again. <laughs> And he did that for two blocks. I watched it. I literally went around the corner and I just see this girl running. And I mean, like, she's screaming. She's crying. And she's hauling ass. Dude, that was fucking. Fight or flight moment. Dude, that was horrible. Actually, that reminds me um, three, four years before that, right? I went trick or treating with some friends. And in the neighborhood. Now, I hate dogs. And I'm also allergic to them, right? So I ended up. I have a pretty cool dog. Yeah. No. So before I met Garrett, right? I hated dogs and I had a really bad allergy to them until. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! That had some impact. Could you imagine hitting me with a crossbow? <laughs> Imagine oh the my kids. god, dude! We would give them bruises. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, It'll sorry. build character. Anyways, no. So that, it almost ricocheted hit for us. They, they started a podcast. Do you remember that time we got shot with a crossbow? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I'll be like, hey guys, want to come on our podcast and share your crossbow? Anyways, crazy. no. So it was a like I think it was like fifth, sixth grade. Me and my friends were trick or treating around the neighborhood. I have a horrible fear of dogs at that point, right? Because I'm allergic to them. I don't like them, and every time I get near them, so I'm just shit face scared of them. Yeah. So we were trick or treating, and this dog starts. This is a little fucking ankle biter chihuahua. I was like, <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and like we're running right because we have to get somewhere. And this dude that's running with me, he's way faster, more athletic than me, and he's hauling ass. I'm hauling ass, and all I hear behind me is, like, woo, woo, and he starts chasing me like like three, four houses. And I'm telling you, I hauled ass so hard I passed him up and went a whole block and then he and I had to stop and wait for him he's like bro I was running full speed how the fuck did you beat like I you you were a, he's like you were a, I was like bro there was a dog there was a dog <laughs> he's like you mean he's like you mean that little ass chihuahua that stopped at the door I was like oh he stopped at the door I didn't know that I thought he chased me like three houses <laughs> dude and, and I, dude I, I, I was like there then when I finally caught up with myself and he caught up with me like a block later, I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, and he's like, you OK? He's like, yeah, the dog barked once and you ran. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? He was like barking, chasing down three houses. He's like, no, he stopped at the door. I looked at it. I was like, oh, I just went into fight or flight for a whole block. And, and when I stopped, I was like, yo, I'm dead. What the fuck just happened? That's fight or flight, baby. That's Dude. power of fight or flight. I'm Nate, telling you. do you have any stories? Um, I actually have one from this last weekend. Uh, so Go ahead. Me, me, my sister, uh, her fiancé, and two of our other buddies decide to drive all the way out into the middle of bumfuck nowhere, West Texas, right? Um, so we decided... We wanted to go to this uh, Halloween party thing. Oh, wait. Thing. Are you talking about when you drove, like, super far away on the weekend or on Friday? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that was there this whole week, and I literally got back today. Wow. Um, so we decide to go to these a couple wineries in town during the day. I'm not, you know, I don't drink that often. Um, so I didn't get any wine, but they did, so I was their designated driver. So I, dri- I drove them back to the house so they get dinner and shit, and then we all... Got into shitty Halloween costumes, for example, the Catboy costume, um, and drove to what was supposed to be this big party thing for, like, Halloween shit on the weekend. You know, it's going to be a great time. We went to it the year before last. Um, So me, my sister and her fiancé get to this, where it's supposed to be this big party. We get there. There's, like, maybe three cars parked outside this place. It's just a boring-ass bar. There's a couple old people celebrating somebody's birthday. Like... Mm. Aww. It's just boring as shit. So, you know, I call up um, my friend Samantha. That's the name we're going with. Um, to fucking tell her to go ahead and turn back around, head back to the fucking house. We're just going to hang out and party there. Uh, and she says, yeah, okay. Um, so she 
starts turning around, and as she's turning around, she says over the phone, oh, shit, that's a cop. Hey, Nay, I'm going to call you back. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, uh, her and her boyfriend smoke a lot. Oh. And I know for a fact not, that... Not uh, tobacco. Yeah. So, babe, I know for a fact that before they started driving to where we were going, they smoked a bowl in their car. Oh, mm. wait, hold on. I got to go to the bathroom. Hot box, that bitch. Uh, you can continue the story, yeah. but I got to go. I'll fill you in later. Um, to the bat- fucking, I just said it. Oh, <laughs> I'm taking with you. Do you need me to hold it? What the? F- no, the- <laughs> I'm taking a Moving shit. Moving on. Oh, um, I'll scoop it out. Oh, my fucking <laughs> God. So. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm gonna keep just talking. Yeah, keep um, talking. Wow, they really did just both leave, huh? Huh. So, we fucking. I, I know for a fact that her whole car smelled like weed, like a motherfucker, because they had just hotboxed it. I also knew that they had shit in the car. Ah, yes. And they'd just been pulled over. Mm. So, we start driving back. You know, my sister and her uh, fiance are. His, the fiance's driving. Her and him are fucking. Freaking the fuck out in the front seat. She's trying to think if she should call mom and dad or what. Because, you know, we all know they're going to fucking jail. Um, so, finally, we kind of calm down. We get into this town where we know they're supposed to be pulled over somewhere around here. And at the very end of the street, we see two flashing cop mm. lights all on is two <laughs> cars. <coughs> I'm fucked. Yeah, so... We keep driving. We're like, okay, maybe it's unrelated. Maybe it's just some random other fucking dumbasses who got pulled over. It's you know, maybe they're already heading back to the house. We pull it to the light, and we start to go past this light. And as we go past, we can see down this side street where Samantha and Jimothy are sitting on the fucking sidewalk next to their car with two cops digging through the fucking seats. <clears throat> So we keep fucking driving, and at this point, um, my sister's fiance decides it'll be a great idea to put fucking the cops theme song on in the car. What's the theme song? Bad boys, what you want, what you want. <laughs> That's that shit. Um, so we're listening to this as we drive back to this fucking ranch, and we get about halfway there, and we're just like, well, fuck, what are, you know, are, how, what are we going to do? We don't know if they're going to jail or not. You know, they might get let off. Probably fucking not, though, because we know there's weed in the goddamn car. Um, so finally, we decide, okay, we're not going to call our parents. We're going to let them get their one phone call in. And after they talk to mom and dad, then they'll fucking talk to us, right? And then we can claim that we found out about it through this or some bullshit. Um, of course. So finally, whenever we're about maybe a quarter mile from the house at this point, which is in the middle of fuck nowhere, mind you, um... I get a text with the limited service I have that says, we're good, from Jimothy. Huh. Why is he called Jimothy? Because I don't want to use his real name, and it starts with a J, so it's easy for me to remember. Jimothy? Uh, yeah. So is it Jim and Timothy mix? Jimothy? Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> uh, so he says, we're good. Jimothy. So I immediately text in all caps, okay, get back to house now. And then fucking leave it at that. And he's like, yeah, that was the plan anyway, dot, dot, dot. So I was like, I love you. You're good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Just trying to be their friend still. Holy fuck. So they finally get back to the house. Um, it turns out the cop that had initially pulled them the fuck over was really fucking chill. So he immediately, he rolled down the window and you can fucking smell the fucking shit. It's so out strong. It's yeah. so strong. Um, I'm amazed you didn't smell it on me as soon as I fucking came in. Um, so he smells this shit. <laughs> He smells this shit. Um, <laughs> hey. I don't smell shit. Smell my breath. No. So he smells it, and he just immediately asks, all right, be honest with me. How much weed's in the car? It's less than an eighth? Yes, sir. It's less than an eighth. Okay. I'm going to have you guys go ahead and step out and tell me where it is. All right. So they get out. They're standing on the side <laughs> of the... On Plot the twist. It was a pound and a half. No. <laughs> so the cop digs through their fucking console um, and Samantha decides that she wants to reach down and get a cigarette because she's, you know, having a fucking panic attack thinking she's going to go to jail tonight. Um, I can't imagine why, right? Mm. So she reaches kind of quickly to get the cigarette because she's literally shaking, and the second cop that already pulled up immediately reaches for his gun, and she fucking pops her hands back. I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm just getting a cigarette. Sorry, is it okay if I get a cigarette? Yeah, you're fine to get a cigarette. Just go slow. Okay, sorry, my bad. Slowly gets the cigarette out. Takes it out, starts smoking, fucking shaky shit, puts a cigarette back. Plot twist, um, it was not a cigarette, it was actually a blunt. I fucking wish. That would have been funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> Where's so the weed? She, it's on me. She and Jimothy decide it'd probably be a good idea to just go ahead and 
Ask the cops if they can sit down on the curb, right? That way they're of zero fucking threat to the officers while they're doing their thing. That way no one gets shot. Because mind you, Jimothy is black. So that well, doesn't help. Um, that, yeah. You did a racist just now. But it's, it's not really. That's just we all know how cops are. Fair yeah. enough. Am I incorrect? Yeah, we all know how cops yeah, are. Yeah. Um, that's unfortunate, though. Yep. Actually, we're going to have a black special forces officer on the podcast eventually. Fuck yeah, that'd be cool. Um, so he's, he's, he's a super cool officer. The cop... Knows. The other cop digs through the fucking car, and the he calls the other guy over. So they're both in the car at this point. And this is whenever we passed by. Uh, they saw us from the fucking curb, cruise on by them. <laughs> um, so finally the cop comes out with the fucking baggy weed that's still in there, which is like half a fucking gram, because they basically smoked the whole fucking bowl before they left. Um, he asks him, okay, so do you guys have any pipes or any other paraphernalia in the car? Yeah, it's in the center console. Okay. Grabs that, grabs the fucking grinder. Uh, steps, to, steps over to his car, puts it all in little baggies, fucking throws it in there. And then he walks back over to, um, the guys, the people who are sitting in the car, I forgot their fake ass names. Um, he says, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you guys off of a warning tonight because this is probably the most interesting fucking pullover I'm going to have this whole fucking night. Mind you, they're both, one of them's wearing a goddamn karate costume. <laughs> the other one's full fucking gypsy. Um, oh. So he's like, yeah, this is probably the most interesting stop I'm going to have tonight. So I'm going to let you guys off. But for future reference, if you have fucking weed in the car and you're going to hotbox or whatever, smoke the whole fucking bowl and make sure you have nothing in the car before you drive. The cop literally told them, I would rather you drive while high than drive while you have weed in the car. He hey, wrote him a, a written warning, fucking stood him up, got him back in the car, and they drove the fuck off. Mind you, both drunk and high, fucking cruise home. Dude, I have no fucking clue how. So they didn't... So they didn't get breathalyzed. They didn't nope. get nothing. No. They were just worried about the weed and the like, yeah. So the, the weed and the, the speed, that the, was the okay, issue. Fuck the thing that doesn't really matter, to yep. be honest. But the thing that matters, like them being drunk, which is, I mean, they it's, probably it, couldn't it, tell. It's a serial killer, right? They kill yeah. cereals? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to suck your dick <laughs> the cat costume on. It's going to happen. What, now. Do you, what do you mean by that? I mean exactly what the fuck it's you trying think to get I mean. into. Let me video it. I should have porn, boys. Oh no! I mean, expensive camera. Hey, oh, okay. I'm we got okay. the fucking fancy Gabe's lights apartment. for it, huh? Gabe's apartment. I agree, dude. Second we get floor the casting couch set up there already. God damn! I know his whole second story is a sex. I studio. want. I want to do a podcast on the second story, like in like just the boys, just chill there, do a podcast. Not Wednesday night. I have other things. No, 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 no. Like week. next week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah, yeah. Sometime. Next I have week. things Friday. Uh, we'll do it like Saturday, Sunday. Pog, I have nothing going on. Or I can see if I can, we can do something like Tuesday or something. Like Ow. some weird ass day right there. I like night. We can just get together. Okay. So, anyways, I think this is a good chance to end it. Get What'd taken a poo. I'll let, we'll let him take a shit. Anyways. I'll go suck it up after he's done. Great note to end on. <laughs> Don't this have a good No. Day. <laughs> Thank you for watching Don't the bug. Shut up. Day. Thank you for Don't watching the Hey. Thank you for watching the Bug Club Podcast. Please like and subscribe um, and follow us on Spotify, Audible, all that jazz. Um, yeah, that's about you it. Just fucking lick me? Don't have a good, good day. day. Have, have a, a great, great day. day. <laughs>